This is going to be insane. Pika Labs just changed the AI video generation forever. Now you can add any subject or anything into any pre-existing video. All you need is just the image of your subject and then you can add that subject into that video seamlessly. And believe me, the results are insane. So I'm super excited. Let's dive in. So first of all, head over to the Pika Labs website and here you can see a new option Pika edition. We have the Pika scenes that we have already seen from the Pika Labs. We had the Pika effects that were very popular previously like squishing, cakeify, flyover and these kind of the results. But now they made a massive jump. So in the bottom side, we have the prompt section. And if I click on the Pika edition, now you can see we have the option to upload our input video and the input image. So for example, I have this video of an empty road with very beautiful autumn scene and I want to add this furry monster to the road. So I'll simply upload my video first and then the image of the monster. And right now it can only support five seconds long video. But if your video length is large than the five seconds, this will automatically trim the first five seconds. Now this is the default prompt. Add this to my video based on the current actions in the original video. Come up with a natural and engaging way to fit the object in the video. But you can also change the prompt if you want to according to your own preferences. But right now, let's go with their prompt. All right, so this is the output video and this is super impressive. And it's not just added that monster into the video, but also matched the composition and the lighting condition according to the original video. And this is very impressive. And you can also notice when the camera is zooming in because in the initial video, the camera was zooming in. We had this slight zoom in effect, but it didn't change the composition. In fact, it zoomed the character also. Next, I'm going to use this dark portrait of a woman and then we're going to use this creepy spider and we're going to try something creepy and this time I'm going to change the prompt a spider crawling at her face. Okay, so this is the output video, but it didn't get the prompt right. I wanted this spider to crawl at her face, but maybe this is against their policies. The spider is crawling sideways. So we're going to test something else. Next, I have this simple video of a sofa and this image of Adobe from the Harry Potter series. And here is the output. And this is not bad. Yes, it changed the facial features a little bit from the initial character. And it's also looking very creepy, happier, added some kind of expressions and doing something. It's acting to do something. Actually, this is not doing anything. And for this particular generation, I use the default prompt. And then I change the prompt to the creature sleeping on a sofa. And here is the output. And now this creature is sleeping on the sofa. So it doesn't mean that it doesn't follow your prompt accurately. You just need a right image and the right video. And then you have to prompt it and the AI will definitely follow your prompt and you will get the best results that you want. So next I'm going to use this complicated video where we have a lot of things going on. We have a lot of traffic in this one and I'm going to use this image of a Pikachu. And in the prompt section, I'm going to type Pikachu riding a motorbike. And let's see how it handles this. Okay, so here's the output. Well, Pikachu is not riding a motorbike. He's talking to girl and, you know, doing some kind of selfie sessions. But I like the fact how the AI managed to handle this because we have a lot of things going on. There are a lot of motorbikes, cars in this video, but it didn't morph them into each other. The character is consistent. Also, the motorbike looks consistent. Yes, we have a slight morphing when the Pikachu turns his bike around. But other than that, I have no complaints with this one. So we have already tried some fictional characters, but let's try something with the human characters. So this is the video that we're going to use and I'm going to use this image and let's see how does it perform with this one. All right, this is not bad. It tried to maintain the main character, but the Joker character from our input image, uh, you can see his facial features and facial expressions are different. So it messed up with the real video, but not video, but with the real character. But it tried to maintain the main input image character consistent. So till now we have used the original videos, but what about the AI generated videos? And I'm going to use this image of this monster and let's see how does it perform in this one. All right. So here is the output video and this is not bad at all. Even though we have three characters in this one and, and this new fictional character is walking behind those person. And, but you can see it's not morphing into each other. It managed that character very beautifully. And it doesn't look like this character was 
added after generating that video it's looking like this is a single video so this is the beauty of this ai tool and there are a lot of different possibilities that you can try there are a lot of different creative uses that you can explore on the twitter that people are generating right now so there is a massive opportunity and i think this is going to be a big big step in the ai vfx and in ai filmmaking so that's it from today i hope you enjoyed something new and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one